weekend, several cities in Hampton Roads issued voluntary and mandatory evacuation orders for residents in Zone A. That includes Sandbridge in Virginia Beach, an area prone to flooding. And to make sure anyone wanting to go to a safe place had one, they opened up two emergency shelters. Any of your sides, Brett Hall is live tonight in Virginia Beach with the latest on what's going on in Sandbridge. Brett? Yeah, right now at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, actually when we got here, there was more people than we expected to see. But just as in Sandbridge, there's been a steady stream of people headed out. This is beautiful. It was a beautiful week in Sandbridge. Until the evacuation, of course. <laughs> this family from Pittsburgh decides to laugh, even if they don't want to. Hurricane Dorian is cutting their week-long vacation short with a mandatory evacuation place for the vacation destination. Well, it took us like 10 hours to get here because of the stops we made and everything, so. Was it dis disappointing now that you're leaving? Yeah, because it was supposed to be till Saturday. It's not like we get refunds on this place. Madison and Olivia have never seen a hurricane before. And Andrew Roper with the Sandbridge Beach Civic League says they're wise not to make this their first. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if, you, if you're not a coastal resident and you haven't you know, weathered one of these storms, uh, it'll probably be the best to cut your vacation short and get out of here while you still can. Virginia Beach crews have already dropped off the road closed signs where Sandbridge Road meets New Bridge. They are expecting floodwaters to overtake this area at some point in the next day, and that means road access to Sandbridge will be cut off. As of 7.30, two people have taken advantage of the city-run shelter set up at Kellum High School. But don't you expect to see Roper there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been here for 20 years, so I mean, almost every single one of them. I think we only uh, got out of the area for one storm. He and many others, like David Whiteley, says they've gassed up their cars, cleaned out the yard, and prepared to board up their homes, but will be staying put. We feel pretty confident that this, this event is only going to last for about a day, and it will be We'll be fine. Does anybody ever ask that lives outside ever say, King, you're crazy for staying? They say that all the time. He hopes time is friendly to his remarks. And of course, being staying put in a mandatory evacuation can come with a penalty, especially if there is an emergency. If it's too dangerous for emergency crews to venture out, they might not make it there. Now back here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, this is where a voluntary evacuation was going to be taking place. We have again seen the winds pick up in the last half hour or so, and it appears most businesses are telling us they're going to be closed tomorrow. Reporting live at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.